Well, back here at williams Bryce Stadium in Columbia, South Carolina, the Bulldogs have just taken the opening kickoff, and John Henry bringing it back 39 yards from the five-yard line, and the Bulldogs will set up shop right at their own 45-yard line. So a great run back by John Henry, and the Bulldogs have excellent field position to start this one off this afternoon. First down and 10 on their own 45-yard line. Jason Cooper is starting at the running back, and they fake, and they give it inside, and here is uh, Johnson going to keep the ball. He's outside at the 45 and out to the 47-yard line. Good faking inside. Johnson kept it himself, and Tony Watkins, the strong safety, could tackle after a pickup of about two yards. Boy, they, the Bulldogs really doing a lot of faking in the line. Johnson just kind of put the ball on his hip and started running with it. Good defensive coverage by the secondary for South Carolina. That's going to be one of the keys this afternoon for Texas set a uh, success offensively is whether or not they can uh, protect against Johnson's passes. First, or make that second down at eight. Louisiana Tech on their own 47. Here's a handoff. It goes inside and out across the 50 and into South Carolina territory. So it was Jason Cooper that time. Cooper is getting the start this afternoon in place of Jason Davis, who is not starting a, as head coach Joe Raymond Peace has decided to give Jason Cooper a shot at it. He is the freshman redshirt out of Texarkana, Texas. They move it out to the 48-yard line of South Carolina. It will be third down and about two yards to go for the Bulldogs on the opening drive on the Saturday afternoon from Columbia. Third down and two, Jason Cooper again cuts it inside. He is going to be a yard short of a first down at the 46. Cooper gets to the 46-yard line, and that's it. It was the outside linebacker, Gerald Dixon, who made the stop. And back deep now for South Carolina, awaiting the punt, will be Eddie Miller. Miller will be back there, along with David Pitchko, awaiting on the punt of Daryl Altick. On fourth down and a yard to go for a first down at the 46. But will the Bulldogs punt? There's the snap. It's good. The kick away. A driving kick and calling for the fair catch. It bounces at the five and out of bounds at the two. They're going to spot it right at the one-yard line. So South Carolina will have it first down and ten on their own one-yard line. They are in the scarlet jerseys, the white pants, white numerals. They have a full house of the backfield. Fuller is the quarterback. Both ends are in tight. And Fuller will give it inside, and getting out to about the four-yard line is Brandon Bennett. Bennett, who last week rushed for 278 yards, which was a South Carolina school record against East Tennessee, and he scored in that game three touchdowns. Demise Lloyd and Artie Smith were in on the tackle just shy of the five, and it will be second down, and let's call it six to go for a first down. The quarterback is Bobby Fuller. He's a senior out of Miami, Florida. The two running backs, Leroy Jeter is the fullback. Bennett is the tailback. One wide receiver to the left, Fuller. Play action gives it into Bennett, and he is dumped as he crosses the five-yard line. Maybe got about a yard. There was a hole that opened up quick, but it shut down just about as quick at the five-yard line. A pickup of about a half yard, and it'll be third down and about a six to go for a first down. Boomer Foster, one of the blockers on the offensive line for South Carolina, trying to cut back fell to the turf here at the stadium and actually the ball carrier tripped over his own player. Eddie Miller is split to the left side. Again, Jeter and Bennett are the two running backs on third down and they give it to Bennett. He's at the seven. He's at the eight. He's out to about the nine yard line, but he'll be about three yards short of a first down. So zero, uh, South Carolina not testing the passing situation as they had it on their own one. They ran three running plays and it was Kerry Brody that made the stop along L Lorenza Baker and it will be a fourth down, and now South Carolina will have to punt. It will be Darren Parker's been averaging over 37 yards per kick this year, and back deep for Louisiana Tech will be Paul Bland. He's standing at about the 45-yard line. We are just underway here in Columbia, South Carolina. Here's the snap and the kick. It's a driving kick. Bland drifts back. He is under it, catches it at the 46. Straight up field at midfield, 45. He's at the 40, and there's flags go down, and that's going to be a clip where the flags went down at the 46-yard line of South Carolina. You know it was going to be a clip 35 yards on the punt by Darren Parker. So the Bulldogs, instead of having it in South Carolina territory, will be backed up. Let's pause here 10 seconds. 
for station identification via satellite on LN. This is the Louisiana Tech Radio Network. Dave Nitzel on with Zero Brown. Hank Largen is our statistician this afternoon. Make that a 45-yard punt by Parker. The penalty will back Tech up back to their own 39-yard line where it will be first down and 10 for the Dogs on their own 39-yard line. No score early here in the first quarter from Columbia, South Carolina. And it's Cooper again. He bounces to the outside. He's at the 42, 44, and out to the 45-yard line. Well, Cooper was hit actually at the 40-yard line, but he bounced off a couple of would-be tacklers. And finally, the left corner, Jerry Inman, made the tackle. Zero South Carolina uses basically what they call a 3-4 defense with three down linemen and four linebackers. It's a tough defense to work against. Both teams here in the first offensive series, Tech now in their second, beginning to fill each other out as we play here in the first quarter. Second down, four to go for a first down. Tech and Johnson to throw. Flags go down. Johnson steps up, and he's going to be hit and drop. No, he gets away, throws up field, and it is intercepted by South Carolina at the 37-yard line. The Ten minutes and six seconds left to go here in the first quarter. No score, but South Carolina on the interception comes away with it at their own 37-yard line. And for Carolina, that is their 10th interception of the season. So now let's see what the Gamecocks will do to try to open it up. A slot off to the left side, that's Jeter. As Bobby Fuller, the quarterback, rolls to the left, gives it to Bennett. Bennett trying to get outside. He is hit and dropped as he gets to about the 38-yard line. Byron Baker, the middle linebacker, is the leading tackler for the Dogs, was there to make the tackle, and Carolina is going to go without a huddle. A pickup of one. It'll be second down and nine. Tech trying to get some players in and off the field, and they give it to Bennett again. Tries to bounce to the outside. He is hit at the 39 and gets out to the 40-yard line. They're trying to get Bennett outside, it appears, Zero, and they have not been successful to do it so far. Pat Wilson, the senior from Monroe Wasman, made the tackle, and Carolina's going to go again without a huddle. Eddie Miller is out wide to the right side, and Robert Brooks to the left. They are two wideouts that can fly. Bennett is the lone running back on third down and seven. Let's see if... Carolina will put it in the air. So far, they haven't. Fuller may be checking off at the line of scrimmage. Tech shows linebackers blitzing. Fuller has time, plenty of time, lots of time. Throws, completes it. Out to the 48-49 yard line and a first down. Plenty of time, deep coverage. Excellent job by the defensive secondary for Tech, but the man out of the backfield cutting underneath all of the coverage. First down and 10 at the 49-yard line. Carolina again going without the huddle. From their own 49-yard line, first down and 10. Fuller takes the snap, gives it to Bennett, bounces to the outside. He is hit as he crosses midfield down to the Louisiana Tech 47-yard line. Again, they give it to Bennett on kind of a belly play off to the left, and Myron Baker, who's already made a couple of tackles, has just made another right at the 47-yard line. A pickup of four yards. It'll be second down and six. Carolina still going without the huddle. Miller is wide to the right, and Brooks to the left. Jeter is the slot man off to the left side. Out of the one back set. Jeter goes in motion. Comes to the near side and Fuller rolls to the right side. Gives it to Bennett. He is hit as he crosses the 45 down to the 44-yard line. Bennett straight ahead that time. Going down to the Louisiana Tech 44 where it will bring up a third down. And about four to go for a first down. Myron Baker and Pat Wilson, the two linebackers, enter to make the tackle. So third down and four for Carolina at the Louisiana Tech 44-yard line, let's call it. They need to get to the 44 first down. Let's see if they give it to Bennett or will Fuller go to the air. He's the senior out of Miami, Florida, and back to throw Bennett. Has some time, steps up in the pocket, throws over the middle, and it is caught at the 33-yard line on what a catch coming across the middle was Robert Brooks, and I mean he was hit. Denise Lloyd made the hit, but we had a penalty marker thrown. It looked like Carolina may have been in motion. Someone is not set. And the penalty marker, they bring it back. Illegal shift against Carolina. So that will nullify. What a catch by Robert Brooks. I don't know how he held onto the ball, zero. Well, third down. It's still four to go for a first down. They didn't uh, mark off the penalty. And an audible apparently being called at the line of scrimmage. As Fuller looks over the defense on third down and four, sets some throws, wants the throw, sets, he's hit, and he's going to be dropped back on the 45-yard line. The ball was popped away, but it was after the whistle. 
Well, the Bulldogs finally got to Fuller, and that's what you have to do. You can't give that guy a lot of time. Howard McMahon and Myron Baker will get credited for the sack, and it will be another kicking situation for Carolina. And into the punting will be Darren Parker. Bland will be back in single safety at the Louisiana Tech 10-yard line. No score. Six minutes, 50 seconds remaining in the first quarter of play. Carolina kicking for the second time this afternoon. They're taking some time now as they line up on fourth down and 13 with the football on their own 46-yard line. Here is the snap, a little low, but he picks it up and the kick away. Nice high floating kick. Bland calling for the fair catch and makes it at about the 13-yard line. Timeout on the field, no score. Back in one minute after the 60-second message from your local station. Six minutes and 27 seconds remaining in the first quarter. That punt for South Carolina as the Bulldogs will now start from their own 14-yard line was 36 yards. We would like to thank Tommy Smith with Motor Parts Service Company, your Napa dealer in Ruston, for helping sponsor this Tech Sports broadcast. No score as we're past the midway point here in the first quarter of play from williams Bryce Stadium in Columbia, South Carolina. Jason Cooper to the outside. He's at the 15 and out to about the 18 or 19-yard line. Just a direct pitch off to the right side. And Jason Cooper, who has... Rush for 439 yards this season. Of course, his big night was against Arkansas State when he had 204 yards rushing. Marty Dye, the defensive left end, started as an offensive tackle a year ago, moved to defense. A pickup of five. It'll be second down and five for Tech on their own 19-yard line. Wide outs to the near side. No score here in the first quarter. In motion goes Kennedy. The pitch goes to Cooper. Cuts to the outside. 20, 25. He's out to the 27, 28-yard line. That'll be a first down. Boy, they did a good job on blocking down on the defensive end, and Norman Green had to come up from his free safety to make the tackle. When they knocked that defensive end and defensive linebacker on the right side off there, there was a lot of running room for Cooper. Had a quick burst of speed by Cooper. A good job of caving in everything back to the inside and giving Cooper the chance to stay to the outside. First down and 10. Dogs get their first first down. Five and a half minutes remaining. Here in the first quarter of play, no score. Tech and South Carolina from Columbia. Play action. Now they give it inside, and the handoff to Cooper, and he is out across the 35 and close to the 40-yard line. Or Gerald Lawrence, that was. Gerald Lawrence, the wing back, getting the call that time. And it's going to be, I believe, close enough for a measurement, or is it? It's going to be another first down. He picked up right at 10 yards. The official is giving the indication it is a first down for Louisiana Tech. They mark it at uh, almost the 39-yard line. Our vantage point, not that good, because we are at the south end zone at about the 15-yard line as we look an angle to our right. And the handoff. It goes to Gerald Lawrence again. He cuts it to the outside. He's out across the 43 to about the 44-yard line. So Gerald Lawrence getting some playing time with the running back, the 5'11", 188-pound sophomore from Grand Prairie, Texas. Jerry Inman from that left corner came up to make the tackle and five yards on the pickup. Looks like the Bulldogs are trying to work those defensive ends right now. They're trying to pick away from each side going into the short side of the field which is to their right side. That's the Tech bench off across the way. Arm is wide to the right, Bland to the near side. Again, Gerald Lawrence, the running back, and Johnson has some time to throw. Looks, wanting to throw, wants to go long for Parham, and it is knocked away at the 15-yard line. Jerry Inman, fine defensive play at the 15-yard line. Parham went up, so did Inman. Inman, a sophomore out of Richmond, Virginia. He is a sprinter on the South Carolina track team, and he had Parham step for step. It was a one-on-one -on -one battle that took place at about the 15-yard line of South Carolina as Inman went into the air and just swooped with one hand and knocked the pass away. So it, now it's a third down and five for Tech. Bulldogs have it on their own 44-yard line. No score, 407 remaining in the first quarter. Again, Gerald Lawrence is the lone running back. Tech looking in a passing situation and Johnson to throw. He comes up out of the pocket, throws it, dumps it off inside to Lawrence. He's at midfield, 45, and down to the 43-yard line. 
Well, Gerald Lawrence, no doubt about it, he was probably the fourth or fifth receiver that Johnson was looking to throw to, and Joe Reeves, the inside linebacker zero, finally made the tackle. Johnson really did a good job reading the defense at that time. An excellent job by the veteran quarterback. He stayed in the pocket, had to break away from it, spotted his safety valve right over the middle, and picked up the first down with a good pass. At the 43-yard line of Carolina, first down and 10 for the Dogs. No score with 3.45 remaining in the first quarter. Gene Johnson takes the snap, inside handoff. Not much there, not much at all. Trying to crack in off the left side of the line that time, but uh, boy, I'll tell you, the Carolina defense really stuffed Jason Cooper that time. Bobby Brown, the right end, and Gerald Dixon, the outside linebacker, were the two that squeezed in to make the tackle. He may have squeezed out about a half yard. Let's call it second down to nine for Tech. Cooper has carried the ball six times this afternoon for 28 yards. Bulldogs operating from the near hash mark at the Carolina 42-yard line. Jason Cooper again is the lone running back, and Johnson to throw. Looks, wants to throw the screen over the middle to Bland. Bland at the 40, cuts outside, near sideline, 35. He's at the 30 and out of bounds, and it'll be a first down for the dog at the 29-yard line of Carolina. Frank Adams, the right corner, came up and made a tackle, and again, looked like the screen pass was set up. Bland got away from a lot of defensive folks that time. Bland could have been stopped at the line of scrimmage from a defender that came up from behind. He did an excellent job of just picking his way through to pick up the first down. At the 29-yard line of South Carolina, first down and 10 for the Dogs. No score, 255 remaining in the first quarter. Cooper again is the running back. One wide out to the right with a slot man. And here's the handoff on the draw to Cooper straight ahead. Sticks his head down and he gets a yard to the 28. On a slight draw play. And David Turnipseed along with Keith Franklin. A couple of backup players as Carolina starting to get some extra people. I tell you, it is a warm afternoon here in Columbia. Unlike last week in DeKalb, Illinois. Some 30, 40 degrees difference, <laughs> Dave, from that direction of the country to this direction. Gorgeous afternoon, but down on the field, temperature at game time about 78 degrees, and that's a little uncomfortable for the players. Tech with wide receivers left and right, and Kennedy goes in motion. They rotate in the backfield defensively. Johnson looking to throw, throws it incomplete. At the 22-yard line, he was trying to hit his tight end. Wade Christensen threw it a little bit behind him. Christensen had double coverage from Eric Brown and Keith Franklin, and it will bring up a third down and nine for Tech at the 27-yard line of South Carolina. South Carolina, according to the scouting report, is the type of ball club, if the opposing team can get a score quickly, they will sag a little bit. If South Carolina gets the score, then they begin to get motivated for the ball game. If possible, Tech needs to score on this drive here as we close out the first quarter of play with 2.07 remaining. And the Bulldogs get Shane Benoit end of the game with Cooper going out on third down and nine and Johnson to throw looking in the pocket throws and it is caught at the 20 and down to the 15 yard line for a first down Wade Christensen the tight end made the catch at the 20 and he really struggled to get to that first down marker and a couple of extra yards to the 15 yard line of South Carolina where it's first down and 10 for the dogs so the Bulldogs keep the drive alive on the third down conversion at the Carolina 15-yard line. No score with a minute 52 remaining here in the first quarter, but the dogs are driving. Arm to the right, Bland is to the left. Again, Benoit is the running back. And they will give it to Benoit. Flags go down as the play got underway. Benoit gets to the 15, down to the 14-yard line. But I think somebody was moving in the backfield for Tech, and that play probably will be called back. Illegal shift is the call against the red and white. The Bulldogs in their traveling white tops, white bottoms, red headgears, and red numerals. I don't know if I would recognize this football team without the, the white uniform, Zero. Well, white is for the road, and that's where we've been, the fourth of five consecutive games. A week off next week, and then we'll return on the road as we go to Lafayette against the University of Southwestern Louisiana. The five-yard penalty will mark it back to the 20-yard line where it will be first and 15 with a minute 35 remaining 
here in the first quarter. No score, Louisiana Tech and South Carolina from williams Bryce Stadium in Columbia. Just a gorgeous afternoon. As I look around, there's not a cloud in the sky. Nothing but blue above us. And the Bulldog driving toward the south end zone. It'll be first down and 15. Three wide outs and back to throw Johnson. Has some time, steps up now, gets out of the pocket and down he goes at the 25-yard line. Robert Gibson, the outside linebacker, 6'3", 228-pound senior out of Jamestown, North Carolina, made the tackle at the 25-yard line. A loss of five, but it'll bring up a third and 20 for Tech as we are now inside one minute remaining here in the first quarter. Once you get down near the red zone, that scoring zone, it gets a little tougher for the receivers. They run out of room. Johnson trying to stay behind the pass blocking. Excellent job, but it was good coverage defensively. And Johnson is sacked. The Bulldogs better hurry up. They're working out of the shotgun with four seconds on the snap clock. The snap to Johnson looking to throw. Throws it, and it is caught at the 16-yard line, but the Bulldogs will be about 11 yards short of a first down. The catch was made by Gerald Kennedy. Frank Adams came up to make the tackle, and that will bring up a fourth down as the clock's starting to run down toward the end of the first quarter. It will bring up a third and 11. And the players are starting to walk back, and so that will be the end of the first quarter with a score. Louisiana Tech nothing, South Carolina nothing. This is the Louisiana Tech Radio Network. Third down at 11, Louisiana Tech at the 16-yard line. And Johnson rolling to the right, looking, buying some time, throwing. It is knocked away at the five-yard line. Corey Parham had the ball batted away. Brute Pender was there. And then uh, Parham tried to make the catch as it was starting to fall to the ground, but he couldn't quite come up with it. And it will bring up a field goal situation on fourth down. So Chris Bonio, who has hit 5 of 11 this year, will be attempting a field goal at the 23-yard line. This will be a 33-yard field goal attempt. The angle will be to his right. Affley will be holding. The snap, the ball is down, the kick on the way, and it's up, and it is no good. It's off to the right. Bonio has missed the 33-yard field goal. It veered off to the right a little bit, and South Carolina is held, and so we are still scoreless with 14 minutes and 50 seconds remaining here in the first half of play. Big hold there by Carolina. In that first quarter, Tech picked up five first downs. USC had one. Time of possession, the Bulldogs, nine and a half minutes, 527 for USC. As we begin the second period, Tech with a chance to get on the scoreboard but come up short, off to the right with a field goal attempt. Then it is the lone running back from the 20-yard line. Carolina with the football. And here is Bennett. Nope, it's Fuller keeping the ball. Has some time. Throws. Incomplete. At the 35-yard line, the intended receiver was Eddie Miller, and he's hollering for pass interference. But the thing about it, or David Pitchko that was, he got tangled up with Demise Lloyd. Lloyd was actually going for the football and was in front of Pitchko when Pitchko tripped up in front of uh, Lloyd. The football was up for grabs, and so when the officials look at it in that manner, no flag was thrown. 15 plays on that drive for Tech. They drove 70 yards, took 6 minutes and 43 seconds, but came away with no points. Second down and 10. And it is Bennett. Bennett off to the right side. He's at the 30-yard line, 31-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Miller to the left. Brooks is wide to make that Pitchko in the game. Wide to the right side. Pitchko will come in motion to the near side. Miller will take the snap. He gives it to Bennett. Bennett at the 32, squeezes out to about the 33-yard line. As he was trying to straight die play off the left side. Pat Wilson enter to make the tackle for Tech, the senior from Monroe Wasman. A pickup of three. It'll be second down and seven for South Carolina on their own 33-yard line. Second down and seven to go for a first down. This time, Miller will go wide to the right and Pitsko to the near side. Jeter as the slot man and Bennett as the running back. Tech in a four-man front. Fuller takes the snap, back to throw, has some time, throws it, and it is incomplete. 
Throwing a little bit behind David Pitchko here on the near sideline. And Pitchko was hit by Cedric Singleton, making sure that that ball didn't stay in his hands. Not a very good throw and pass that time by Fuller. It was a little bit behind him. Well, the linebackers come in, and now they back off, and now they back in again. As Fuller takes the snap, looking to throw. Steps up in the pocket. He throws, and he completes it to the near sideline at the 45-yard line of first down. 13 minutes, 15 seconds remaining in the first half. No score. John Philostrat will keep you up to date on all the scores on the halftime report this afternoon here on the Louisiana Tech Radio Network. And here is Fuller again. Play action. Back to throw. He's hit, and he's going to be dropped. Back on the 38-yard line. Fuller was trying to roll outside the pocket, and it was Howard McMahon. I think Fuller had everybody fooled except McMahon, the senior from Jacksonville, Florida. Stay right with him. Play action by the quarterback, Fuller, as he came to the outside after the play action. Right guard was pulling to cover to the outside, but McMahon, playing that stay-at-home football defensively, did an excellent job. And now Carolina will go to the shotgun formation on second down and 17. As they have wide receivers to the right, one to the left. And Fuller on the straight snap gives it to Bennett on a running play. He is hit and dropped at the 36-yard line. Well, the Bulldogs were not to be fooled there. They had the shotgun formation. They hand it off to Bennett, and Myron Baker staying right at home. Dropped him out at the 37-yard line. That'll be a pickup of about three yards. But I'll tell you, great defensive stand there by the dogs. Certainly was. Shotgun formation, you would expect a pass perhaps. Myron Baker, the linebacker, he is fast, he is quick, did an excellent job of covering against that draw. Third down and still about 18 to go for a first down on the 37-yard line. Carolina on their own 37. They would need to get to the Tech 45 for a first down. Tech showing blitz. Will they come? Nope, they do not. Now they come with the outside blitz. Fuller steps up, throws over the middle, knocked away at the 42-yard line. Fine defensive play by Kerry Browdy. As that pass was intended, for Robert Brooks, and Browdy just reached in and slapped it away. Senior from Winfield did an excellent job defensively as he just elongated the body to get in front of the receiver and tapped it away with the left hand. Parker will be back to do the putting, the senior from Concord, North Carolina, as Bland will be back in single safety. He is standing at the Tech 16-yard line. No score, 11.36 remaining and a half. The snap and the putt away. A low kick, it's coming to the near sideline. Bland gets out of the way. The ball hits him, it bounces away, and it's going to go to Tech. The <laughs> great break for Louisiana Tech as Bland getting under the football. It was cushioned by the wind and was moving back just a little bit, and it hit and took the wrong bounce, caught Bland on the leg, and then out of bounds. First down and 10 for Tech. Football just shy of their own 30-yard line from the near hash mark. Jason Cooper is the lone running back. We have not seen Jason Davis so far this afternoon. And the handoff will go to Cooper. He's at the 30, out to the 31, and a lot of red jerseys meet him at the 31-yard line. He picked up about two yards, but two very, very tough yards for the freshman out of Texarkana, Texas. Jamel Pettiford and Joe Reeves enter to make the tackle. Let's call it a pickup of one. It'll be second down to nine. 11 minutes remaining in the first half. No score. The Bulldogs and the Gamecocks from Columbia, South Carolina. We owe you a station break. We'll get it to you just as soon as we find out what happens on this play. Gerald Lawrence is now in there at running back. And play action. Johnson throws to the near side to his tight end. Christensen, flag goes down. Christensen, 35 and out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. Let's see what we're going to have as far as a penalty. It may be a hold, and that is the call against Louisiana Tech. Let's pause 10 seconds. Station identification by a satellite on LN. This is the Louisiana Tech Radio Network. The Bulldogs had set up the screenplay, but the holding... We'll move it back to the Bulldogs' 14-yard line. For now, it will be second down, and let's call it about 26 to go for a first down. Ten and a half minutes remaining in the first half. No score. Tech and South Carolina. Bulldogs are driving toward a pretty good wind that's blowing here this afternoon in Columbia. Bulldogs out of the shotgun, and Johnson to throw. 
steps up in the pocket, throws over the middle, incomplete. He threw it behind Bland at the 33-yard line. Bland had double coverage. Jerry Inman was one of the ones back there to defending, but the throw by Johnson was a little bit behind him. Bland took his cut to the inside, and the ball was back to the outside. He tried to make a reverse and catch, but uh, could not come up with it. Tech has been penalized five times so far for 32 yards. Now it will be third down for Tech, and 26 to go for a first down. Dogs would need to get all the way out to the 40-yard line for a first down in this situation. Again out of the shotgun. Johnson takes the snap. Back to throw. Steps up in the pocket. He's being hit. Now he gets out of the way. He looks. He wants to throw. And now he'll go down. Back on the 14-yard line. Cedric Pembury, the nose guard, who was a second-team high school All-American with great quickness and strength, but Johnson down, and the Bulldogs will have to punt. Altick will be back to do the punting. Back deep for South Carolina will be Eddie Miller. Altick will be kicking into a little bit of a win. The punt away, he drives one, and the ball is going to hit at the 40-yard line. And picking it up and going down at the 38-yard line was Miller. Well, the Bulldogs got down there quick, and it was Russ Golden who was the deep snapper. That is a 47-yard punt by Altick. The ball bounced, and South Carolina will have it first down on their own 37-yard line. No score. Nine minutes, 18 seconds remaining here in this first half of play from Columbia, South Carolina. So the Gamecocks have it on their own 37-yard line. Rob DeBoer is now into the backfield as a running back. Jeter comes in motion, handoff to DeBoer, straight ahead. He's hit once, but he stays driving out to about the 40-yard line. DeBoer has been in and out of the South Carolina lineup because of a sprained right ankle. He's kind of like you might call a bowling ball or a bull-like runner. Shannon Cornelius and Pat Wilson there to make the tackle at the 40-yard line. A pickup of three. It'll be second out and seven for South Carolina. No score. Eight minutes, 50 seconds remaining in the first half of play. Bobby Fuller, who has hit 63% of his passes, in completion this season. Gives it to DeBoer again. Bounces to the outside. He's out to the 35. Fumbles the football. I believe the Bulldogs have it at the 48-yard line. And they do. The Dogs have come up with it, Zero, I believe. They have. The Bulldogs have come up with it at the 48-yard line. Who came up with it? I believe maybe Artie Smith. There was a lot of white jerseys around there. So the Bulldogs get a huge turnover at the Carolina 48-yard line. Shannon Cornelius with a good hit on the ball care. Ball was coughed up. I believe it was Artie Smith who pounced on the football. So Tech has it first down at the South Carolina 48-yard line. So both teams have had turnovers. Hand off, no play action. Back to throw. Johnson trying to buy time. Throws, completes it at the 40 to Bland. Looks for a block. Cuts it across field, 35, and down to the 33-yard line. Whoa, what some nice moves by Paul Bland. The junior college transfer out of St. Louis, Missouri, made the catch. He ran across field, and then the nose guard, Cedric Bembry, from behind, brought him down at the 33-yard line. First down and 10 for the Dogs at the 33-yard line of South Carolina. Not only are the receivers for Tech getting more confidence in catching the football, but once they make that catch, as on that particular play, an excellent run back. First down and 10 for Tech at the 33-yard line of South Carolina. From the near hash mark. Johnson takes the snap, back to throw. Looking, throws the screen pass over the middle to Cooper. He's at the 30, and he's going to be hit and dropped right at the 30-yard line. Bulldogs had the screen set up, but Cooper was not able to get to that screen and picked up about three yards on the screen pass. And one thing about it, that will cut down a little bit, at least on the rush. Certainly will. The screen was up the middle. As the ball carrier took the pass, he had to break to the outside. He was not quite behind the wall, and so consequently it comes up short. Second down and seven, Louisiana Tech at the South Carolina 30-yard line. No score, just over seven and a half minutes remaining in the first half of play. Cooper the lone running back. Kennedy will go in motion. The pitch will go to Cooper, looks for the block, cuts it to the outside. He's at the 28 and down to about the 27-yard line. Jason Cooper just taking it and kind of ramming his head 
and getting the final couple of yards where Frank Adams made the tackle. Third down and four for Tech. The football at the South Carolina 27-yard line. Carolina fans starting to come to their feet, urging their defense on. Gerald Lawrence is in there at running back. And Johnson to throw. Steps up in the pocket, looks, throws, and he completes it at the 24-yard line. And I think they're going to be short of a first down. It was, again, the tight end, Wade Christensen, who made the catch. Tony Watkins and Joe Reeves made the hit at the 24. And the Bulldogs will be about a yard short of a first down. Let's see what the dogs are going to do. They're going to go for it. Joe Raymond Peace on the far sideline said, let's go for it. On fourth down and one, he has confidence in his offense. Now the Bulldogs will take a timeout. Timeout on the field with 6.08 remaining in a half. Tech nothing, Carolina nothing. Back in one minute after the 60-second message from your local station. Well, it appears that the Bulldogs are going to go for it on fourth down and one. Zero, it looks like they need to get just inside the 23 and are out just across the 24, so they have a long yard to go for a first down. Fourth down for Tech at the South Carolina 24-yard line. Kennedy will go in motion. Here's the pitch, goes to Cooper, cuts it back. He will be close to the first down marker. It depends on where they mark the football at the 23. The Bulldogs are saying they have the first down, but the guy in the white hat will be the one that will determine. South Carolina says they have held. And they're going to call a timeout to measure. Cooper went diving through the air when he was hit. And it's hard for us to tell. I think he may be a little short. It looks like he may be just about a foot short of a first down. They will bring the chain in from the far side. The measurement, first down, South Carolina. They have held, the Gamecocks have held. The Bulldogs came up about a foot short. Well, Carolina has held. They will take over. First down on their own 23-yard line. No score with 6.01 remaining here in the first half. Rob DeBoer is the lone running back out of the one-back set, and DeBoer will get the handoff. He's out across the 25, out to about the 26, maybe to the 27-yard line. Well, they really like to run off tackle. Uh, Howard McMahon and Lorenzo Baker there to make the tackle at the 26-yard line, a pickup of two. It'll be second down at eight. We have seen him run off tackle almost entirely. This time coming out to the near side will be Eddie Miller. Wide out. Robert Brooks is off to the right side. And one man comes in motion as Fuller takes the snap count, gives it to DeBoer again. DeBoer trying to follow his blocking, gets it out to the 30-yard line. DeBoer out to the 30-yard line where it will bring up third down and about four to go for a first down. Bulldogs had a lot of white jerseys around DeBoer as he went down at the 30-yard line. Steve Wilson and Artie Smith were two of the front runners in there to make the tackle at the 30-yard line. Third down and four. South Carolina on their own 30 with 4.55 remaining here in the first half. No score. DeBoer is the lone running back. Miller to the left, Brooks to the right. They will put Brooks in motion from the right to the left side. They will flood this side. And Fuller looking to throw, throws it upfield, and it is knocked away, almost intercepted. As the pass was intended for Eddie Miller, and I tell you, Cedric Singleton did a great job defensively because when Fuller released the ball zero, I thought he had a completed pass. A sparkling defensive play by Cedric Singleton from Natchez, Mississippi. He's a senior. Bulldogs will certainly miss him after this year. Parker will be due to the putting for the fourth time. Bland will be standing back at the 22-yard line, anticipating the punt. On fourth down and four, Tech uh, does not have all 10 on the line. Here's the snap and the kick away. Nice high spiraling kick. Bland calling for the fair catch and will make it at the 26-yard line. First down and 10 for Tech. Bulldogs will start here on their own 26-yard line. No score with four and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Johnson play action, back to throw, looking, looking, Lil looking. He's going to be trapped, now he gets out of the pocket and he will go down out about the 28-yard line. 
Michael Johnson somewhere that got outside the pocket. Finally was able to scramble Gerald Dixon. The outside linebacker brought him down after a pickup of about two yards. Carolina's defensive secondary apparently doing a heck of a job back there right now. Much better than they've done in the previous games. That's been one of the weaker points of the scouting report that shows up against South Carolina. 3.55 remaining and a half, no score. Tech from their own 28-yard line for the second down and nine. Gene Johnson, the quarterback, takes the snap, back the throw, looking, dumps it, and it's blocked, knocked away. Gerald Dixon batted it right back in the face of Gene Johnson. The Bulldogs are trying to set up the screen to, to Gerald Lawrence here on the near side, but Dixon just jumped up and batted that one away. So it's now a third down for Tech. Third down and nine. Unofficially, the Bulldogs six out of 12 for Gene Johnson in passing this afternoon. Bulldogs nothing, South Carolina nothing. Bulldogs have had one scoring opportunity. Chris Bonio missed the 33-yard field goal. Tech will operate out of the shotgun. On third down and nine, the snap to Johnson. Back to throw, looking, throws it upfield, complete, out at the 43-yard line. Bland came back and made kind of a sliding catch, sitting right down on his wallet. Jerry Inman, the left corner, was covering, but Johnson whistled one in, and Bland was there to make the catch. Bland down and hooking in just a little bit, coming back toward the passer to help Johnson out. Good reception. Bulldogs really needed to keep that drive alive. With 3.26 remaining, they need to get a score before halftime. Arm to the right, Bland to the left. Tech nothing, South Carolina nothing. Bulldogs operating from their own 43-yard line. Here's the handoff to the right side, and Gerald Lawrence gets out to about the 49-yard line. So Gerald Lawrence and Jason Cooper have been below to the running backs for Tech this afternoon. Marty Dye and Eric Brown enter to make the tackle out of the 49-yard line where it will bring up a second down and six for Louisiana Tech. South Carolina, they have Georgia Tech and Florida State ahead the next couple of weekends. Bulldogs will have next weekend off. Two weeks from tonight, Tech will be in Lafayette at Cajun Field to take on the Ragin' Cajuns of USL, 7 o'clock game time. Second down and six, Tech at the 49-yard line, their own 49. And again, Gerald Lawrence. Lawrence hit, he spins, he gets to the midfield stripe, and that's it. Lawrence was trying to spin outside, but the right end, Bobby Brown, the senior, out of Titusville, Florida, there to make the tackle for the Gamecocks right at the midfield stripe. And it will bring up a third down and five as the clock runs with two minutes and 15 seconds left to go here in the first half of play. No score. Louisiana Tech and South Carolina. Again, Gerald Lawrence is the lone running back. Arm to the left, Brand, Bland to the right. Kennedy is the slot man off the left side. Carolina shows four down linemen. They come with a lineman. Now Johnson trying to scramble outside the pocket. Looking, he's going to run the football, and he is pumped out of bounds at the midfield stripe at the 48-yard line of South Carolina. The Bulldogs will be short of a first down. As Gene Johnson was trying to scramble, got outside the pocket, and they will bring it from the far sideline and mark it at the 49. So Tech will have to kick it away on fourth down. This will be the third kick of the afternoon by Darrell Alton. Only a minute and 47 seconds remaining here in the first half. Miller will be back deep. Altic has punted twice this afternoon. One of 44, one of 47 yards. The snap by Golden, the kick away. He angles it to the near side. It's going to hit at the five and end the end zone. Timeout with a minute 40 left to go. First half, Tech nothing, Carolina nothing. Thirty-four. Albert Haynes, fifty-two.
First down at 10, Carolina as they move on a pass out to the 32-yard line. With a minute 25 remaining here in the first half of play, Carolina on their own 32 and Fuller to throw. He steps up, he wants to throw, he gets out of the pocket now, dumps it off at the 40, 45-yard line and out of bounds and across the 50 to the 49-yard line is Albert Haynes. Lorenzo Baker, Demise Lloyd finally chased him out of bounds as Fuller was chased out of the pocket and he just dumped it out to his running back, Albert Haynes, who gets another first down at the Louisiana Tech 48-yard line. Primary receivers were covered. Excellent job defensively, but the safety valve out of the backfield and picks up enough for the first down. A minute 10 remaining here in the first half. South Carolina has all three of their timeouts remaining. Two right receivers to the left. Haynes is the lone running back. One wide out to the right, and Fuller to throw. Sets up, throws over the middle. It is caught at the 35, down to the 30, down to the 27-yard line is Brooks. Brooks slicing across the middle. Harry Brody, Denise Lloyd were there to make the tackle at the 27, but South Carolina has moved it to the Louisiana Tech 27-yard line, and now South Carolina will take a timeout with a minute three seconds remaining in the first half. Back in one minute after this network message on the Louisiana Tech radio network. It'll be first down and 10 for South Carolina at the Louisiana Tech 27-yard line. This is the deepest penetration that Carolina's had this afternoon. 63 seconds remaining here in the first half. Tech showing blitz with the linebackers. Fuller, the quarterback, takes the snap, looks to throw, throws it over the middle, incomplete, almost intercepted. Off the hands of Albert Haynes. Haynes couldn't hold on to it. The Bulldogs nearly came away with it. Myron Baker was trying to grab a hold of it, and it will bring up a second down and 10. That stops the clock with 58 seconds left to go here in the first half. South Carolina operating from the Tech 27-yard line from the far hash mark. The two wideouts, Miller and Brooks, will come to the near side, and they are speed burners. Hitchco is wide to the right. Haynes is the lone running back. Jeter is the slot. And back to throw is Fuller. Sets up, throws over the middle, incomplete. Brooks couldn't hold it. At the 23-yard line, Brooks was hit by Myron Baker just about the time the ball hit Brooks' fingertips. And it will bring up a third and 10. That stops the clock with 54 seconds remaining in the first half. Fuller working under pressure with a good rush defense by the Tech front four. But the linebackers doing an excellent job covering that middle back in the hook zone and preventing that underneath coverage pass to be complete. On third down and 10, South Carolina at the Louisiana Tech 27-yard line. Again from the far hash mark. Tech showing blitz, and here they come with a blitz. They pick it up, though. Over the middle. It is batted and intercepted at the nine-yard line. The ball was batted up in the air by Doug Evans, and Demise Lloyd came away with the interception at the nine-yard line. Great play as the Bulldogs fans over, over on the far side across from us come to their feet. Demise Lloyd has his second interception of the year, and the Bulldogs have come away with a big defensive stop right there. It was 45 seconds remaining. That closes out the scoring threat for South Carolina. Good alert play by Evans. He tipped it into the air as the old tip drill by defensive backs that they undergo every day. And Demise Lloyd with a diving catch comes up with the interception. Shane Benoit comes into the game at running back. Tech will have it from their own nine-yard line. And they'll give it to Benoit straight ahead. He's at the 15, and down he goes at the 15-yard line. That will probably be the last play, maybe one more play remaining here in the first half. It depends on where they set the clock. And the clock shows 27 seconds, so the Bulldogs will have two seconds remaining on the scoreboard clock if they want to get a snap underway, and they will. With second down and four, on their own 15-yard line, we are scoreless here in Columbia, South Carolina. Again, Benoit. Benoit at the 20. He has a first down out to the 21-yard line. And the clock shows just six seconds remaining here in the first half. The Bulldogs will have a first down, and Tech will not have to snap it again here in the first half, and probably will not, since they just kind of stand around and will go to the locker room in a scoreless football game here at williams Bryce Stadium in Columbia, South Carolina. That's the end of the first half with the score. Louisiana Tech nothing, South Carolina nothing.
The halftime activities will be coming up next on the Louisiana Tech Radio Network. as we get ready to start the second half. Louisiana Tech will be kicking off, and back deep will be James Flowers for South Carolina, along with Eddie Miller. And they are standing back at the eight-yard line, waiting on the kickoff from Chris Bonio. As we're just about to get the second half underway here this afternoon in Columbia, as the Bulldogs and the Gamecocks, and here's the opening kickoff of the second half. And Miller will drift back. The ball will hit at the one and go in the end zone and out of bounds. And Carolina will start at the 20-yard line. It appeared that Eddie Miller was hoping that ball would bounce out of bounds zero, and it bounced on the far sideline and kicked right into the end zone. It was very, very close to the far sideline at about the two-yard line, probably just a yard inside, but it took a good tech bounce. South Carolina first down and 10. They will start the second half from their own 20-yard line. Fuller, the quarterback. Brooks to the left. Off to the right side is Eddie Miller. And here is the play action. Back to throw. Fuller has some time. Throws long. He has Brooks open. And he makes the catch at the 48-yard line. Robert Brooks went down the far hash mark, cut out toward the sideline, and as he veered out there, Fuller had it right on target in a first down. As the receiver veered out, Demise Law defending, cut back inside. A good pass play by South Carolina as we start the second half. 28 yards on the pickup on the first play of the second half. And South Carolina will have it first down on their own 48-yard line. Brandon Bennett is the running back. Fuller takes the snap, play action again, back to throw. Steps up, he's trying chased. He wants to throw long, and it is incomplete. He was hit just as he threw the football and trying to get away, and breaking off the pattern was Eddie Miller. He was downfield at about the five-yard line, and uh, Fuller just threw it away. Artie Smith and Howard McMahon were really pressuring Fuller that time. Working under stress, the quarterback looking deep and actually just threw it into a corner where there was only one receiver and five defenders trying to get rid of the football. Second down and 10. David Pitchko will go wide to the left. Brooks and Miller will be split off to the right side. On second down and 10, Tech showing blitz. Now they come out of there and back in, just bouncing around. Here's the handoff to Bennett out to the outside. He's at the 50, 45. He is hit at the 42 and down to the 41 yard line. And that will be a first down. Doug Evans, the rover back, hit Bennett, but uh, he stood Bennett up and then Bennett stayed on his feet and he will get to the 42-yard line is where they're going to officially mark the football and it's going to be close enough for a measurement as they will bring the chain in from the far side. Good run by the freshman running back, Brandon Bennett. They tried to run Bennett off tackle a lot in the first half and he had 10 carries and only 27 yards. They'll check the chain here at the 42-yard line. And by the nose of the football, first down and 10 for South Carolina. 
The football will be at the Louisiana Tech 42-yard line. We are just underway here in a second half of play from Columbia, South Carolina. We have played 30 seconds of football, and South Carolina has moved it from their own 20 to the Louisiana Tech 42. A Sim Penny is now into the game, and he is split to the left side. And going in motion will be Jeter. And the handoff will go to Bennett. He tries to bounce outside. He is hit at the 40, spun around and knocked down at about the 41-yard line. He tried to get to the 40, and then he tried to bounce to the outside. And Steve Wilson and Pat Wilson were in there to make the tackle at the 41-yard line. That'll be a pickup of one. It'll be second down to nine for Carolina. Football from the par hash mark. Pitchko will go wide to the left and to the near side, Eddie Miller. Miller, the senior, set the Georgia State record in the 400 meters at Southwest DeKalb High School in the Atlanta area. And here is Fuller to throw, has some time, throws it over the middle, completes it at the 35-yard line to his tight end, Mike Whitman, who is pumped out of bounds as he gets inside the 30, and that will be a South Carolina first down. Cedric Singleton had to come up to make the tackle as Mike Whitman has made only a sixth reception of the year. He just kind of slid across the middle and down close to the 28-yard line of Louisiana Tech on a first down. So Carolina moving it here early in the second half of play as they have it first down at the Louisiana Tech 28-yard line. And Fuller will give it to Bennett. Bennett spins as he gets to the 25-yard line and a flag goes down. A flag goes down as Bennett got to the 25-yard line. Herman Petit made the tackle, and the face mask is the call against Carolina. So somebody, one of those offensive linemen, apparently in there trying to block, got a hold of one of the Tech uh, defensive players on the face mask, and that penalty is going to be a big one against Carolina. This will be their first penalty of the afternoon. Herman Petit made the tackle. He came up quickly, bouncing and recovering, looking at the official and marching toward him, and that was when the flag was thrown. And so undoubtedly the official, right on top of the play, saw that particular play. So it'll be first down and 25. South Carolina at the Louisiana Tech 44-yard line. No score. 13-07 remaining in the third quarter. Bennett is the lone running back. Bobby Fuller, the senior quarterback, looking over the defense. Tech moving around defensively and Fuller to throw. He is being pressured. He throws. He completes it at the 40, at the 35-yard line and out of bounds at the 30. Once again, he was throwing to his back out of the backfield, and that was Brandon Bennett who came out of the backfield, made the catch at about the 35-yard line, and was bumped out of bounds finally at the 28-yard line. It will not be enough for a first down. They will get it back almost to the original line of scrimmage. Let's call it second down and right at nine to go for a first down. South Carolina at the Louisiana Tech 28-yard line. Wide receivers to the left, two and one off to the right side. Fuller really looking over the defense and now calls a timeout. He was really confused and he was down to about two seconds on the snap clock and decided to call a timeout. Back in one minute after the 60-second message from your local station. It'll be second down to nine for South Carolina at the Louisiana Tech 28-yard line from the near hash mark. Brandon Bennett is the lone running back out of the one-back set. Fuller again looking at the defense. Now Tech backs up a little bit, and Fuller again calling the audible. He's down to five seconds on the snap clock, gives it to Bennett. He cuts it down to about the 27, 26-yard line. Well, the Bulldogs kept jumping around defensively, Zero, and really confusing a little bit of Bobby Fuller. He was down to about two seconds that time on the snap clock. And it's good defensive work by the Bulldogs. It's a touchy situation here in Tech territory. South Carolina on the move. It'll be third down and eight at the Louisiana Tech 27-yard line. Wide to the left will be Miller. Brooks will be split off to the right side. The one slot back, and that is Jeter with Brandon B uh, Bennett, the lone running back. Now Tech making some adjustments again defensively. And here is being hit, getting away is Fuller, and he gets away again and hit again, and down he goes at the 33-yard line. The Bulldogs got in there with Steve Wilson, a junior out of Little Rock, Arkansas, who first one that hit Fuller, and Fuller got away, and I think Doug Evans was the last one that finally got to him. So now, let's see if the field goal unit will be coming on for South Carolina. No, they're bringing their punter 
Darren Parker in on fourth down. Parker averaged 42 and a half yards per kick in the first half. It will be fourth and 15 from the Louisiana Tech 34 yard line. Carolina, let's see if they'll take a penalty here. Nope, it's a low snap. Parker picks it up and kicks it angles to the near sideline. The ball will hit in the end zone and Tech will start from the 20. Well, that punt of 34 yards, zero, and the fans starting to boo because Parker was trying to nail it to the near sideline and just couldn't get it in there. One of the things we were told as we talked with some of the fans of South Carolina, they get down on their ball club a little bit and they have no sympathy for them whatsoever. It showed on that particular play. First down and 10 for Tech. Bulldogs will start their first offensive series here in the second half. From the 20 yard line, Sam Hughes is at quarterback. And Jason Davis at the running back. He squeezes across the 20 and out to about the 24 yard line. So Sam Hughes getting the start here in the second half. The six foot four, 230 pound junior from Lake Worth, Florida. Robert Gibson and Joe Reeves made the tackle, a pickup of five. It'll be second and five. So we are seeing Jason Davis for the first time this afternoon. The junior out of Bossier City Airlines. We'll get you up to date on some scores that have been passed along to us here in a moment. And remember, the scoreboard show follows our broadcast here on the Louisiana Tech Radio Network with John Philostrat and Hughes to throw. Throwing, and it is caught out at the 45-yard line on a diving catch by Gerald Kennedy. Kennedy made a heck of a play out at the 45-yard line where he made a diving catch over on the far sideline. Hughes coming into the ball game with a first play, a running play. That's just to get the feel of things, get to work quickly with a good pass, but credit uh, the receiver on an excellent reception of that one, and so Hughes will go to work. First down and 10, Tech on their own 45-yard line. Ten and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter, no score, Tech and South Carolina from Columbia. Sam Hughes at quarterback, looking over the defense. He will pitch it back to Jason Davis. Davis tries to go to the outside and is bumped as he goes to the far sideline at about the 47-yard line. At the half, Georgia and Ole Miss are tied at 17-17. Mississippi State 7, Kentucky 3. They are in the first quarter. Florida State 26, Virginia Tech 14. They are in the fourth quarter. Marshall 28, Furman 14. They are at the half. Georgia Tech 20, Maryland 3 in the fourth quarter. A pickup of three yards. It'll be second down and seven for Tech on their own 49-yard line. Sam Hughes gives it to Jason Davis again. Cuts it back. He is hit at the 49. Out to the midfield stripe, and that's it. Picked up a very, very tough yard right there. Miami leads Penn State 27-13 in the fourth quarter. Michigan 28, Michigan State 7 in the third quarter. North Carolina 3, Wake Forest nothing at the half. Notre Dame 14, Pittsburgh nothing, second quarter. Syracuse leads East Carolina 20 to 10, third quarter. And Temple has a 6 nothing lead over West Virginia in the third quarter. Tech looking at third down and five at the midfield stripe. We are scoreless here at Columbia, South Carolina. With nine minutes remaining in the third quarter of play. Kennedy will come in motion, and Hughes wanting to throw, sets up. Now he's going to scramble, looks for the first down. He dives for it and comes awfully close, and a late flag comes in back behind the line of scrimmage, and that will be a possible holding call against Louisiana Tech. I don't know if Hughes got the first down. He was trying to dive at the last moment for it, but it will be negated nonetheless because the penalty marker has been thrown against the Bulldogs, zero. And, of course, it's going to be a holding penalty when the quarterback gets to scrambling. That puts pass blocking in a disarray situation. And so you're trying to reach out and hold and grab, and that was the call against Tech. So that will mark it all the way back to the 37-yard line, where it now will be third down and about 19 to go for a first down. Tech would need to get to the Carolina 44-yard line for a first down here. Eight and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. No score. Sam Hughes at quarterback. Very quickly. Back to throw. Hughes looking. Throws it over the middle. Completes it. Out at the 42-yard line. Way short of a first down. Joe Reeves made the tackle. Everybody downfield was covered. And South Carolina has held. And the Bulldogs will have to kick it away.
Darrell Altick, who averaged 47 yards per punt in the first half, will be kicking. And Eddie Miller will be back in single safety. On fourth down and 13, so the holding penalty really cost the Bulldogs right there. Here's the snap. Altick picks it up and kicks it high. Wobbly kick. And calling for the fair catch, Miller. Ball bounces away at the 25 and is down at the 24-yard line of South Carolina. The ball kind of hit that win and bounced away. They're going to spot it at the 25-yard line. And that's where South Carolina will put it in play. First down and 10, a 32-yard punt by Altic. No return. The Bulldogs and the Gamecocks are scoreless here this afternoon in Columbia, South Carolina. Seven minutes, 33 seconds remaining in the third quarter. So both teams have had the football on one offensive series here in the second half. Bobby Fuller is the quarterback for the Gamecocks. Bennett is the running back in play action. And Fuller has time, wants to throw long upfield, and it is incomplete at the 45-yard line of Louisiana Tech. Miller was the intended receiver, and Doug Evans, the rover back, had one-on-one -on -one coverage, the junior out of Haynesville, and the pass falls incomplete, and it'll bring up a second down and 10. Let's pause 10 seconds. Station identification by a satellite on the end. This is the Louisiana Tech Radio Network. Second down and 10. South Carolina on their own 25-yard line. Tech showing blitz. Now they back off the line. And Fuller will be back to throw. Has some time, steps in the pocket, throws it, and completes it at the 31-yard line. As he again, it is tied in. Mike Whitman, the junior from Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Myron Baker made a pretty good stick at the 31-yard line just as soon as Whitman made the catch. As soon as Whitman came into his territory, the pass was thrown as the ball touched his fingertips. Quick hit from behind by the linebacker from Halton. Third down and five. South Carolina just across their own 30. They would get need to get to the 35 for a first down. Fuller, the quarterback, looking over the defense. Tech not blitzing this time. And Fuller in the pocket, throws over the middle, incomplete. He tried to hit his back. Brandon Bennett coming out of the backfield at the 35-yard line, but he had to hurry it up because someone was in his face by the name of Shannon Cornelius, the sophomore from Minden, and Fuller had to release it a little quicker than he wanted to. So Darren Parker will be punting for the second time, and Bland is way back on the 20-yard line, anticipating the Parker kick. 34 yards, his first kick of the second half. It'll be fourth down and five as South Carolina will be kicking with six minutes and 41 seconds remaining in the third quarter with no score. The snap is good and the punt away. Wobbly kick coming up. Bland will field it at the 25. Looks for a block to the far sideline at the 30 and bumped out of bounds at about the 35. Timeout on the field back in 60 seconds after this message from your local station. First play as Tech getting the football. Jason Davis just rambles for 18 yards all the way to the South Carolina 47-yard line where it will be first down and 10 for Louisiana Tech. First down and 10 at the South Carolina 47. And Jason Davis again. He's at the 40. Davis tucks his head down and gets to the 34 and down to the 33-yard line and a first down. Jason Davis, who did not play in the first half, getting the calls here in the second half, and it was Norman Green who finally made the tackle. Zero, Jason Davis uh, stuck that head down and at 6'2", 224-pound frame, carried himself for about three or four extra yards. He's a tough runner, back-to-back -back plays, and Tech needs to really move as we close out play here in the third period. 
six minutes remaining. And no score, Tech and Carolina. First down and 10 from the Carolina 33-yard line. Lawrence goes in motion. They pitch it back to Davis, off to the right side. Davis at the 30-yard line and down to about the 29-yard line. And blocking off the right side, a couple of big old grizzly veterans there. Allen Apple and Glenn Hunt helping the blocking along down to the 29-yard line where the tackle was made by Eric Brown. I don't guess Apple and Hunt will care about me call him, calling them grizzly, will he? <laughs> Davis has carried the ball six times for 46 yards all here in the second half. Second down and six. Tech at the 29-yard line of South Carolina. And it is Jason Davis again. He is hit as he gets to the 28-yard line, and that's it. He picked up a very tough yard as the clock rolls down at 5.20, remaining here in the third quarter, no score. Another big third down play here for Tech. Third down and four at the South Carolina 27. Need to get to the 23 for a first down. Carolina fans urging their defense on. Lawrence goes in motion, and Hughes wanting to throw. Throws over the middle, complete at the 23-yard line. Now, it depends on where the spot, whether he has the first down or not. Boy, it's going to be awfully, awfully close. Gerald Lawrence made the catch, and it is a first down Louisiana Tech right at the spot. Lawrence knew what he had to do as far as picking up the first down right at the marker. He was hit hard, driven back actually a couple of yards, but a good spot by the officials that gives Tech the first down. First down and 10 at the South Carolina 23-yard line. With four minutes, 20 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Tech nothing, South Carolina nothing. On a gorgeous South Carolina Saturday afternoon. The pitch to Jason Davis. Cuts it back at the 20, at the 15, at the 14, at the 13-yard line. And he may have a first down. Jason Davis just keeping those legs churning. He picked up about the last three or four yards just on strength alone, and it's going to be awfully close to the first down marker at the 13-yard line. Norman Green made the tackle. They're going to take a long look at it. Second down, no, first down is the call by the referee. The officiating crew out of the Southeastern Conference. This is a good drive by Tech here in the third period. They need to sustain it. 52,400 here this afternoon at williams Bryce Stadium in Columbia, South Carolina. Tech first down at the South Carolina 13. Sam Hughes at quarterback. Jason Davis again. He is hit at the 13, spins to the 12, down to the 11, and close to the 10-yard line. Jason Davis just spinning and keeping those legs driving. Joe Reeves and Keith Franklin on the tackle just shy of the 10-yard line. A pickup of a tough three yards, and Jason Davis has really been the workhorse. He will get a rest as he will come out of the game, and Gerald Kennedy will come in. Kennedy will go to the wing, I'm sure, and we'll see Gerald Lawrence in there at the running back slot. And it is Lawrence at running back. So Jason Davis giving a breather right here. On second down and seven, and Hughes wanting to throw. Over the middle, throws it, far sideline, caught, and out of bounds at the four-yard line. To Corey Parham, they say he was out of bounds. Incomplete pass. Parham was trying to keep his feet in bounds at the four-yard line over on the far sideline. And it will go as an incomplete pass. It'll bring up a third down and seven. Look at the flagpole at that south end where the Bulldogs are driving right now. And it is really bristled out right now. It has been swirling all afternoon. Third down and seven at the 10 and a half yard line. Gerald Lawrence at running back. And Hughes wanting to throw. Has some time. And looking for time. Now he's gonna run it. Now he's gonna throw it toward the end zone. Touchdown! Touchdown! Gerald Kennedy. Sam Hughes fired one into the end zone. And the dogs get on the board on a 10 yard touchdown pass. And a penalty marker has been thrown in the end zone. I'm sure a little too much celebrating by the Bulldogs. Boy, did Hughes ever bury that one in the end zone, though. Sam Hughes was working under pressure, stayed cool, calm, and collected, shot from the hip, found his receiver open in the end zone. A good job of the receiver by not just going to his route and stopping, but moving about, hovering down that back line of the goal line, and a touchdown by the Bulldogs. And Gerald Kennedy gets his first touchdown of the year 
unsportsmanlike conduct against South Carolina is the call. I believe is what the referee has just given us the indication. But the touchdown pass will stand and the Bulldogs lead six to nothing with two minutes, 44 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Bonio to attempt the point after. Affily will hold. The snap, the ball is down. The kick on the way. It's good. And the Bulldogs have a 7 to nothing lead over South Carolina. Well, the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty was called against Louisiana Tech, so the Bulldogs will be kicking off from their own 20-yard line. Nine plays, 65 yards. Took three minutes, 55 seconds. Jason Davis had runs of 14 and 10 yards in that drive. And a 10-yard pass. Sam Hughes' second touchdown pass of the season. It went to Gerald Kennedy, making his first touchdown reception of the year, and the Bulldogs have taken a 7-0 lead. Remember, when you're having good times with good friends, drink responsibly because friends know when to say when. A reminder from your friends at Budweiser. Here's Bonio's kickoff, high end over end. Miller will settle under it at the 20. He's at the 25, 30, 35, 40. He's at the 45, fumbles the football, fumbles the football. Let's see who has it over on the far sideline. The Bulldogs claim they have it. Now, it may have bounced out of bounds before the Bulldogs recovered, and South Carolina has the football at the 45. A big break for the Gamecocks at their own 44-yard line. Eddie Miller had fumbled the football, but apparently the ball bounced out of bounds before the dogs got possession of it. First down and 10, South Carolina on their own 44-yard line. Tech 7, South Carolina nothing, with 2 minutes 34 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Miller is out wide to the right side along with Pitchko, and here is Fuller to throw, has some time, throws it, completes it at the midfield stripe, and being driven out of bounds at the 49-yard line by Lorenza Baker. As the pass that time was thrown for his wing back Leroy Jeter a six foot two 230 pound junior from Union South Carolina played middle linebacker as a freshman but has been moved to the backfield he was the not the primary receiver at all in that situation a pickup of seven however and it'll be second out at three South Carolina at the Louisiana Tech 49 yard line Fuller looking at the defense he will give it in to his running back. That's DeBoer, and he is headed as he gets to the 40-yard line to the Tech 39, and that'll be a first down. Rob DeBoer, the sophomore, out of Omaha, Nebraska. Steve Wilson made the tackle. DeBoer was a 10th-round draft pick of the New York Mets out of high school, and he's a catcher here on the South Carolina baseball team. First down, Carolina at the Louisiana Tech 39-yard line. Two minutes, 10 seconds remaining here in the third quarter of play. Tech leading 7-0. Fuller at quarterback. Drops back, gives it on the draw to DeBoer. He is hit as he scrambles down inside the 40 to about the 36-yard line where Warren Brady, the senior out of Zachary, Louisiana, made the tackle. They're going to mark the forward motion as the 37. Speaking of baseball players, Roger Stallings former center fielder with the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs who lives, lives here in Columbia. Had a chance to visit with him, have dinner with him here last night in Columbia. Rooting for the Bulldogs, although he's been here in Columbia for about seven or eight years. Second down and eight to go for a first down at the 37-yard line. Carolina with a football and Fuller to throw quickly in the near flat to the 30-yard line, looking for a block at the 15 and out of bounds at about the 20-yard line. Finally bumped out of bounds was Brooks. Doug Evans bumped him out of bounds and zero. We saw the moves that Robert Brooks can put on a defensive back right there. Excellent moves after he made the reception. A little move to the inside, move to the outside and picks up good yardage after the pass reception. And we'll mark it at the 20-yard line where he was bumped out of bounds. It'll be first down and 10, South Carolina at the Louisiana Tech 20-yard line. From the near hash mark, Jeter will go in motion to the left. And they will hand it off to DeBoer. Big hole opens up. He's at the 15. Spins down to the 12-yard line before he was brought down. Rob DeBoer, Myron Baker, the middle linebacker, made the tackle at the 13-yard line. It'll be second down and four, and Carolina has a big drive going right here. 
Very strong running by DeBoer. He came to South Carolina on a baseball scholarship. They encouraged him to change over, and he is now on the football scholarship rolls. Second down and four. South Carolina at the Louisiana Tech 13-yard line. DeBoer is still in there as the running back, and he'll get the call again. Tries to get to the outside. He's hit. Bounces away, and down he goes. Back on the 17-yard line. Boy, the Bulldogs did a heck of a job there. Harry Brody and Demise Loy came up and bounced him. I tell you, DeBoer stayed on his feet, and I thought he was going to stay afoot, but he slipped and went down to the surface. Back at the 17-yard line, it'll bring up a third and seven. South Carolina, two of eight this afternoon. On third down conversions, they have had 45% third down conversion percentage, however, this season. Third down and seven at the Louisiana Tech 17-yard line. From the near hash mark, Fuller drops back to throw, has some time, looks toward the end zone, touchdown. Fuller <laughs> Foster, the tight end, over the middle, and he was wide open for the touchdown. And it's a 7-6 Louisiana Tech lead. Foster, a true freshman out of Jonesboro, Georgia. Six foot four, 240 pounder. Caught it in the end zone, and we are just an extra point away from this one being tied up. Marty Simpson will be attempting the point after. John Wonder will hold the snap, the ball on the way. It's no good. It's no good off to the right. It looked like Simpson may have hit it high, and the extra point attempt is no good, and that's the end of the third quarter. as we start the fourth quarter of play. Jason Davis getting a block at the 30, 35-yard line and out of bounds. Out at the 36-yard line, but hold everything. Another penalty marker has been thrown back at the line of scrimmage. And we may have a hold against Louisiana Tech again. Let's see what the penalty, they're going to bring it back, holding against the Bulldogs. Oh, they have really hurt Tech. At 56-yard drive, seven plays, took two minutes and 44 seconds at the close of the third quarter. And, of course, the extra point missed by Marty Simpson was the third extra point that he has missed this season. But the Bulldogs will be penalized 10 yards, eight penalties against Tech for 71 yards. South Carolina has been penalized one time, 15 yards. We have just started the fourth and final quarter of play here in Columbia, South Carolina, Louisiana Tech with a 7-6 lead but will now operate first down and 20 from their own 10-yard line. Sam Hughes, a quarterback. Here's the draw to Jason Davis, trying to bounce to the outside. He is hit, and down he will go at the nine. Well, South Carolina's defense starting to come alive now. It seemed like the extra point miss has really fired this Carolina defense up. David Turnipseed was the first one in there to make the tackle on Jason Davis at the nine-yard line, and now it will be second down and 21 for Louisiana Tech. Bulldogs are operating, actually, from their own eight-and-a-half-yard line. Sam Hughes, at quarterback. This crowd of over 52,000 to their feet. Sam Hughes rolling out, looking to throw, pumps, wants to throw long, a field incomplete for Bland. Little pump and go, and Hughes was hit just as he released the ball. Jerry Inman had one-on-one -on -one coverage with Bland. Hughes looked short and then kind of pumped and then threw long to Bland, 
but it was overthrown. Hughes was really nailed as he released that one, Zero. In the fourth period here, 13 minutes and 39 seconds to go. Most uh, would have thought that South Carolina would have slacked up a little bit after the touchdown by Tech, but it seemed to infuriate the Gamecocks and near back into the ball game. Third down at 22. Tech on their own nine-yard line. This crowd really making a lot of noise. Here's the draw to Jason Davis. Looks for a block. He is out to the 15, and that's it. Picked up about six yards, and the Bulldogs will have to kick it away. Eric Brown and Joe Reeves, the two inside linebackers, were there to make the stop for South Carolina. And the Bulldogs, Daryl Altick, will be coming in to kick the ball away. Miller will be back deep. South Carolina will get good field position right here. Or at least they should. The snap by Golden is good. And the punt away. Nice high spiraling kick. Miller backpedals. Takes it at the 35. Looks for a block straight up field. 40. He's out to the 45-yard line and drop. Well, that was a good high driving kick by Darrell Altick, that a 48-yard punt and nine yards on the return. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification by a satellite on LN. This is the Louisiana Tech Radio Network. First down and 10, South Carolina. They will start this drive on their own 45-yard line with 12.51 remaining in a game. Tech leading 7-6. Fuller will give it to Bennett. Bennett high steps across the middle and down to about the 48-yard line. And he is met by a lot of white jersey Bulldogs as he got it out to about the 48. Meyer and Baker leading that uh, tackling assault. Second down and six on a pickup of four. South Carolina, handoff, it goes to DeBoer, and DeBoer is met as he gets near the midfield stripe. Apparently, they just gave a score. In the first inning, the Braves are leading the Pirates 4-1. to one. Myron Baker made the tackle, and everybody stood to their feet and gave the old Tommy Hawk sign here, didn't they? We, for <laughs> we forgot football for an instant here. <laughs> This is Atlanta Brave country, folks. As is all over the country in this particular season. Third down and six. South Carolina at the midfield stripe. Tech with the linebackers in tight. Now they back off. Fuller looking over the defense. Will take it. Wants to throw. Has some time. Throws over the middle. It's complete. At the 36-yard line in the first down. David Pitchko made the catch. Denise Floyd on the coverage. But Fuller had enough time, and he threw it over the middle and completed the pass in a first down. That was a big play for South Carolina. It keeps the drive alive. They're in tech territory, just shy of the 35, and plenty of time, 11-23. Tech leading by one, 7-6. Pitchko will come to the near side. Miller split to the right side. On first down for Carolina at the Tech 36-yard line. Bobby Fuller. The South Carolina quarterback, play action, back to throw quickly, near sideline, complete, and out of bounds at the 25-yard line, and again, David Pitchko, the senior from Medford, New Jersey. Cedric Singleton had one-on-one -on -one coverage, but that's going to be a first down, I believe, for South Carolina, and it will be at the Louisiana Tech 25-yard line. One of the strong points for South Carolina's offense, the receivers. They've done an excellent job this afternoon. So South Carolina driving. They have it at the Louisiana Tech 25-yard line. Tech leading 7-6. A lot of time left in this one. Over 11 minutes to go. Fuller will take it. Gives it to DeBoer. He spins and goes to the 23-yard line, and that's it. Byron Baker and Lorenzo Baker teamed up to make the tackle. Pat Wilson also got a hold of it. I think it was Wilson actually got a hold of his legs, and DeVore was trying to twist away, but the Baker brothers came in and knocked him down after a pickup of two at the 23-yard line. Second down at eight, South Carolina at the Louisiana Tech 23-yard line. Ten and a half minutes remaining in the game from the near hash mark. Jeter will go in motion. 
And Fuller will give it to DeBoer. He's trying to get outside. He is hit. And down he goes back on the 27-yard line. Well, the Bulldogs did a heck of a job there. DeBoer was trying to bounce to the outside, and Demise Loy came up from the free safety, and he was the first one in to make the big hit back on the 28-yard line. It will bring up a third down at about 13 to go for a first down. Changes the complexion of this series for South Carolina. Excellent play by Tech's defensive unit. Here is a big third down play in this football game. With just under 10 minutes remaining in the game, Tech leading 7-6. It's third down and a long 12 to go for a first down. South Carolina would need to get to the 15 for a first down. More than likely, they will go to the air. Let's see if they do. Tech showing a blitz and Fuller throwing, and it is incomplete. The Bulldogs had the safety blitz zero. Can you believe that? Demise Lloyd came up on the line, and he had a running start, and Fuller threw it up in the air and threw it out of bounds. And it will bring up a fourth down. And here comes the field goal unit on for South Carolina. Marty Simpson, who just moments ago missed an extra point, has only hit two of seven field goals this year. This one will be placed down at the 34-yard line, a 44-yard field goal attempt. Wonder to hold the snap, the kick on the way. It's up, it's up, it is short. It is short as it looked like it hit the win and it just knocked it down about five yards short of the goalpost. So the Bulldogs defense have held. And Tech will take over first down on their own 28-yard line with nine minutes, 28 seconds remaining in this football game. Bulldogs really need to move the football as they look at the clock and consume some of the time remaining in this fourth period holding on to that one point lead seven to six no scoring in the first half of play one thing he would like to do is get a big gain on a first down davis is the running back he cuts it back at the 30 he slips inside outside the 30 to about the 32 or 33 yard line jason davis carrying the football you don't want to get yourself in a long third down situation. Marty Dye, defensive end, made the tackle out close to the 34-yard line. That'll be a pickup of about six yards. Let's call it second and about four to go for a first down. Bland will come wide to the right. Corey Parham to the left. Sam Hughes is the quarterback. He has been in there the entire second half. Jason Davis is the lone running back. On second out and four, Jason Davis again, the handoff, cuts it back at the 35, out to the 37, out close to the 38-yard line, awfully close to the first down marker at the 38. Depends on where they spot the football at the 38-yard line. They will call time, and they will measure at the 38. First down, Louisiana Tech is the call by about the nose of the football. These two teams will play again here in Columbia next year in November. Future games or any indication as this one has been played. This could be an interesting rivalry and of course Dave, between the Gamecocks and the Bulldogs. And of course, South Carolina will become a member of the Southeastern Conference along with Arkansas next year. First down and 10, Tech on their own 38-yard line. The pitch to Jason Davis. Now he cuts it back against the grain. He's at the 45 midfield. He's at the Carolina 45 and down to the 43-yard line. I'll tell you, Jason Davis did that one all on his own. It was the flow to the right, and everything was bottled up, and he just put on the brakes and said, I'm going to the left, and he picked up 16 yards and another first down. A spread back to the left side. Did you see who was the leading blocker? Sam Hughes, the quarterback. After further thought, however, he decided to get out of the way and let the ball carrier do it on his own. Good job of running. Jason Davis has carried the ball 14 times for 93 yards. All of those coming here in the second half. Seven minutes, 50 seconds remaining in the football game. Tech leading 7-6 at the 44-yard line of South Carolina. First down and 10. Sam Hughes will pitch it back. And it is Jason Davis again. He's at the 40 and inside the 40 to about the 39-yard line. The Bulldogs trying to grind it out here and use up some of that clock as Eric Brown and Marty Dye made the tackle. And the clock runs with under seven and a half minutes remaining in the game. It's a 7-6 Louisiana Tech lead. The football right at the South Carolina 40-yard line. 
South Carolina has two timeouts remaining. Tech has three if that comes into play. It's second down and six for Tech at the South Carolina 40-yard line. Sam Hughes gives it to Lawrence this time. Lawrence is hit and dropped at the 41. He could not get started that time off the left side. And now zero. The Bulldogs are looking at that third down and about seven. Frank Adams and Cedric Bembry were there to make the tackle. So right now you're in a situation you do not like to be in. Third down and seven at the 41-yard line. Bulldogs, it appears they need to get just inside the 34 to get a first down. Of course, it puts you in a precarious situation. What do you do? Stay on the ground, try to grind it out, or really go into the air and try to pick up the first down and continue the drive. Lawrence is the lone running back. And Hughes wanting to throw. Here's the shovel pass to Kennedy. Kennedy at the 35, has the first down at the 32-yard line. The little shovel pass that the Dallas Cowboys made so popular many, many years ago. And Eric Brown and Frank Adams came away with a tackle. And boy, what a big third down conversion for the dogs. Big play. You go to your playbook and get play X, Y, Z. <laughs> Put it to work. It worked that time. First down and 10. Tech at the 32-yard line of South Carolina. Clock running at 6.05. Left to go in this football game. Our scores, Tech 7, South Carolina 6. Sam Hughes, the quarterback. Lawrence is the running back. Kennedy is the slot off to the left side. As they come up to the line of scrimmage, only five seconds on the snap clock. And now Tech will call a timeout. First down and 10, Louisiana Tech at the South Carolina 32. And the Bulldogs, a little mix-up. Now Hughes going to keep the ball, going to run it himself. He's inside the 30. Boy, there was a huge mix-up in the backfield. I don't think they had planned to do that. Sam Hughes carried the football down inside the 30 to about the 28-yard line. That looked like uh, backyard football. Looked like everybody running in the wrong direction. You won't find that one in the playbook. <laughs> that was congestion at Main Street as the man in motion got tangled up with the running back headed toward the line as well as the quarterback. And so very alertly and wisely, Hughes just kept the football and headed back off to the wide side of the field. Jason Davis is back there in there running back. Kennedy will go in motion to the left, come back to the right. The pitch will come to the right side. Jason Davis spins as he gets down to the 26 and maybe to about the 25-yard line. And the Bulldogs will be looking at uh, third down, zero. What about four to go for a first down at about the 25-yard line? And the clock shows four minutes, 45 seconds remaining in this football game with Tech leading here, seven to six. Football is just inside the 26. And it looks like they need to get to almost the 21. So almost five yards here needed on this third down conversion. Operating from the near hash mark. Jason Davis, the long running back. And Hughes wanting to throw. Looks, looking, now it's going to scramble. Going to try for himself. Throws the football, and it's intercepted. Intercepted by South Carolina. And coming up field for Carolina was Eric Brown. Sam Hughes had his arm hit as he was about to throw the football, and Eric Brown intercepted with 4-10 left to go in the football game. A big break for South Carolina. Plenty of time for the game. Cox with four minutes and 10 seconds remaining. It just makes the job a little tougher. The Tech defense, they've done it before. They can do it this afternoon. The football at the 45-yard line. That's the second turnover by Tech this afternoon. And Carolina will have it first down and 10 on their own 45. Hughes had his arm hit as he was trying to throw the football. And South Carolina intercepted. Fuller at quarterback for the Gamecocks from the 45. Fuller back to throw. Has all kinds of time. Throws, completes it underneath at midfield. And at the 45-yard line, at the 42, and a first down. Brandon Bennett, the running back, all the way to the Louisiana Tech 42-yard line and a first down. Pat Wilson made the tackle. Well, the Bulldogs' defense will really be tested now with just under four minutes remaining in this football game, leading 7-6 to six over South Carolina. Eddie Miller is wide to the right. Hitchco is split to the left. Bennett is the lone running back. At the Tech 42-yard line, Fuller to throw. Fuller has time, steps up, throws over the middle, complete. At the 30, down to the 29-yard line is Robert Brooks. 
And another first down for South Carolina. Well, Fuller is getting a lot of time back there to throw. Lorenzo Baker and Pat Wilson, the two linebackers, made the tackle at the 29-yard line with just over three and a half minutes remaining in the football game. So South Carolina driving at the Louisiana Tech 29-yard line. So now the Bulldogs looking for the turnover, possibly. From the 29-yard line, first down and 10 for South Carolina. Fuller takes the snap, looks to throw, wants to throw long toward the end zone, caught, and touchdown, Miller. Terry Brody was back there, but Miller made the catch on a dead run at the three-yard line and went in the end zone for the touchdown. 29 yards on the touchdown pass from Bobby Fuller to Eddie Miller, who makes his third touchdown reception of the year, and South Carolina leads 12 to seven with three minutes and 10 seconds remaining in this football game. Let's see if Carolina will not go for the two-point conversion. Bobby Fuller with his second touchdown pass of the afternoon, his eighth of the year. And Carolina will go for the two-point conversion with 3.10 left to go. So the Gamecocks have taken the lead. And now we'll go for the two-point conversion. Brooks will go in motion. Fuller will roll to the right, looking, looking, going to come back to the near side. Stolen, and it's knocked away and intercepted by Louisiana Tech. They can take it all the way, and it's Demise Lloyd at the 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. He'll get two points. He'll get two points, and it is 12 to 9. Demise Lloyd intercepted the football and takes it all the way back about 95 yards. The Bulldogs will get two points on the new rule that was put in just a couple of years ago on the two-point conversion, and now it is 12 to 9 with three minutes and 10 seconds remaining in this football game as South Carolina leads back in one minute after... bringing the kickoff back. Lorenzo Baker bringing it back out to the 26-yard line. Well, I'll tell you, what an exciting play. Demise Lloyd intercepting the two-point conversion attempt, and the Bulldogs get two out of themselves. And within a field goal of South Carolina, it's 12-9 with 3.06 left to go in this football game, Zero. It is exciting with a short time left. That's one of those little things, Dave, that you really want to be sure that you're players are instilled with making that interception and getting the two points. First down and 10, Tech on their own 26-yard line. And play action. Hughes looking to throw. Wants to throw upfield. Completes it to Corey Parham at the 38-yard line. That will be a first down out near the 39. Corey Parham making the catch, and that quiets the crowd for a moment. Jerry Inman made the tackle. The clock shows 2.57 left to go in this football game. to the 39-yard line. The clock will start as they set the chain. The Bulldogs are on their own 39-yard line. Two minutes, 50 seconds remaining in this football game. 12-9, South Carolina leading. And Hughes to throw. Looking, throws the screen pass to Parr, or to Davis. He's at the 40 down the near sideline, and he is bumped out of bounds at about the 43. Boy, Hughes was under a lot of pressure as he just kind of threw that one up a little bit, and Davis was able to get under it, could not get much blocking, but got it out to about the 43-yard line, picked up about five yards. It'll be second down and five. It stops the clock with 2.37 remaining in the game. South Carolina leading 12-9. Bulldogs have two timeouts remaining. Jason Davis, the lone running back, and the pitch to Davis, looks for a block, cuts it back, He's at the 44-yard line, and that's it. Picked up one yard, and now the Bulldogs are looking at a third and five. Third down and five, and the clock running with 2.20 left to go in the game. South Carolina really met Jason Davis 
as he was trying to turn it upfield on the near sideline. Tech would need to get out to the 49 for a first down. Jason Cooper comes into the game at running back just at the last moment. On third down and five, Hughes looking to throw. Throws it, and it's incomplete at the 49-yard line. Paul Bland was trying to make come back and make the catch. Holding is going to be a call against Louisiana Tech. I would imagine South Carolina will decline this one. But Sam Hughes underthrew that time. Bland tried to come back and make the catch. Now South Carolina will have the option here to take the penalty or the play. It would bring up a fourth and five or third down and a lot of yardage. Let's see what they're going to do. Holding against Louisiana Tech. They're going to take the penalty. They're going to take the penalty here because it's 10 yards from the spot of the foul. So it'll be marked back all the way to the 26-yard line. So Tech will have 23 yards to go for a first down on third down with a minute 51 seconds remaining in this football game. So this could be it right here. On third down at 23, Tech on their own 26. Bland and Kennedy are to the left with Hughes at quarterback. Back to throw, looking, steps up, throws over the middle. It's tipped and incomplete at midfield. A little too high for Bland. The ball was tipped away, and now it is fourth down for Louisiana Tech. The Bulldogs will have to go for it here. At least I would think so, because only a minute 43 remaining in this football game. And it will be fourth down and 23. Tech would have to get to the 49-yard line for a first down. As the dogs come out of the huddle, Harm and Bland are split to the left side. On fourth down and 23, Hughes tumbled as he comes back to throw, throws it upfield, and it is caught by Francis, and a first down at the South Carolina 43-yard line. Brian Francis, the sophomore from Port Arthur, Texas, went high in the air to pull it down out of the Carolina sky. A good play call by Louisiana Tech offensive unit. And the Bulldogs have called a timeout. We'll have one more remaining, and we'll be back in one minute after this network message on the Louisiana Tech Radio Network. It'll be first down and 10, Louisiana Tech at the South Carolina 43-yard line. The Bulldogs have one timeout remaining. One minute, 34 seconds remaining in the football game. South Carolina leading 12 to 9. Hughes, the quarterback, under center, takes the snap. Back to throw, looking, throws it, and it is incomplete at the 28-yard line. Bland was or Kennedy was trying to come back and make the catch. Keith Franklin was out there covering. That stops the clock with a minute and 28 seconds remaining in this football game. The Bulldogs are within three points of tie, but need a touchdown to win it. Trailing 12 to nine. It's second down and 10. Tech at the South Carolina 43. And use the throw. Steps up, throws it, and it is caught inside the 35 to the 34-yard line. The clock will continue to run as not getting out of bounds after making the catch. And Tech will have a third down and about a yard to go for a first down. The clock continues to run with a minute eight seconds, a minute seven seconds, a minute six seconds. It's third down and one at the South Carolina 34-yard line. Jason Davis, the lone running back on third and one. The pitch goes to Jay Davis. He has the first down and inside the 30 down to the 28-yard line. That will stop the clock with 49 seconds as they'll set the chain. The Bulldogs have one timeout left as the clock stops at 49 seconds remaining on that first down. They have the football at the South Carolina 29-yard line. The clock now starting to run. 45 seconds, 44 seconds as the Bulldogs up to the line of scrimmage. And Hughes looking to throw. 
has some time now he's being hit and has the ball knocked away and a penalty marker has been thrown back at the 38 yard line they're going to call intentional grounding against Louisiana Tech Robert Gibson had a hold of Sam Hughes and Hughes was trying to get rid of the football apparently and the intentional grounding at the 38 yard line and now the Bulldogs are looking at a third down it will be a loss of down it will be third down the Bulldogs will be penalized back to the 43 yard line with just 34 seconds left to go in this football game from the 43 yard line Hughes again wanting to throw steps up throws it and it is complete at the 33 yard line but not enough for a first down Gerald Kennedy making the catch Eric Brown the tackle and we're down to 20 seconds now it will that was a second down excuse me now it will be third down with 15 seconds remaining now timeout has been called by Louisiana Tech that is the final timeout that the Bulldogs can take and we'll be back in 60 seconds after this network message on the Louisiana Tech Radio Network. The Bulldogs zero, no more timeouts remaining, so that means you either have to go to the end zone or try to get the ball out of bounds. On a third down and 15, you need to get to about the 18-yard line for a first down. In 14 seconds, doesn't give you much time to do anything, but a couple of plays, and if they choose it just right, at the 34-yard line, Hughes rolling left, looking, throws it, and completes it, and out of bounds at the 21-yard line, making the catch and turning it upfield was Bland with seven seconds remaining. Seven seconds remaining, and the Bulldogs are looking at fourth down and three. A field goal will tie it, and I think that's exactly the Bulldogs are going to have to do that. They would have three yards to go for a first down and only seven seconds remaining. That is the only thing that you could really possibly do here, Zero. Absolutely right. There's no question about the decision. And this will be a 20, 28-yard, no, make that a 38-yard field goal attempt. Now South Carolina will take a timeout right here. South Carolina will take a timeout. They have one more remaining. The Bulldogs are within a field goal of tying it, and I'm sure that Bonio, after missing a 33-yard field goal earlier this afternoon, they want to try to ice him a little bit in this situation. We've got it has been an excellent football game. This 52,400 that are here to watch it, they have been exhilarated for almost 60 minutes. Shy, seven seconds. Well, the football will be placed down at the 28-yard line. This will be a 38-yard field goal attempt. We look at the flag, it kind of swirls, and right now, the wind at the back of Bonio, he'll have an angle to his right. Affily will be holding. This crowd on their feet, 52,000 plus here in Columbia. On fourth down, the snap, the ball is down, the kick on the way, it's up and it is good. With two seconds remaining, Bonio has tied it on a 38-yard field goal. We're going to hold it right here, zero, and again, I think that is all you will have to, that you really can do in that situation. I'm sure that Joe Raymond Feast will be questioned by many, but on fourth down and three, and with no timeouts remaining, that is about all you can possibly do in that situation to try to come away with a tie, and Bonio has just split the uprights. And I think you expressed it very aptly, Dave. When we leave Columbia, South Carolina, unless the Gamecocks can do something in this two seconds, we don't come out of here with a loss, and that's important. Of course, the situation, the Bulldogs, with only six uh, Division 1A play, this would take the Bulldogs out of any bowl contentions, too. You have to have six wins against Division 1A teams, so the Bulldogs would win the rest of the games. They still would not be in contention for a bowl game this year, so with that field goal, that pretty much takes them out of that situation. 12-12, our score. 
with two seconds remaining in his football game. And Bonio will be kicking off. He hits one on the ground. It's going to bounce and picked up by one of the up men and looking for someone to pitch it to. Here's the pitch goes back. It's batted away, still on the field, and it looks like the old uh, backyard play. Somebody's finally going to go down. The ball finally is stripped away, and this football game comes to a close, and we end up in a 12-12 tie here in South Carolina as South Carolina has their second tie of the year, and the Bulldogs have their four-game winning streak broken here this afternoon against the South Carolina Gamecocks. Our final score, Louisiana Tech 12, South Carolina 12. Now stay tuned for the post-game show. It's coming up next on the Louisiana Tech Radio Network. Oh, man. Yeah.